Hey folks, Joe Barhome here with Geeks Worldwide. I've done a lot of written articles and reviews about Lenovo products, specifically the ThinkPad line. And if you're not aware, the ThinkPad line is the business line. They're more durable, they can withstand drops, they can withstand more dust and water than the average consumer laptop. But they're sort of boring. And I don't mean that as a slight to Lenovo. It's more like just generally you need to educate people on what's so great about them because when you look at them, they're pretty boring. And that's why you don't really find them inside of retail stores. So take, for example, the 480S. Uh, this device was sent to me about two months ago by Lenovo. Normally, I review these things within two to three weeks. I do a quick test. I dedicate all of my computing time to this, these particular devices that I get, and then I'm done with them and I move on to the next one. But I had so much on my plate that I had this sitting just on table over there, it's off the camera. I opened it this morning, just did this. Didn't even hit the power button. It woke up and had 86% battery left. And I was floored. Again, this is, it wasn't plugged in at all for probably about four to five weeks. I was really impressed by that. And I thought, man, that's one of the cool things about a ThinkPad that we don't get to talk about. So I'm gonna show it to you. That's the whole point here. So in terms of specs, um, this thing is fast, it has a good battery life, and it has a cover for the camera. It's called the Think Shutter. Uh, it's right up here at the top, you can barely see it, but it has a slider that blocks the camera if you're worried about your privacy. And uh, some of these have really great displays. This one has sort of a mediocre 1080p display that's not super bright. And then um, lastly, it's just really good for day-to-day -day use. It, it, again, it's not attractive, uh, unless you're just really into matte black finish, but you know, it's not gonna get much in the way of fingerprints and you can't really scratch it all that much. So that's really cool. And it just has a little bit of branding on it, not a whole bunch, but it's not going to get anyone's attention at a cafe if you're really into that, right? Go buy a Mac or a Razer product. Um, so the keyboard is great on this device and ThinkPad, it always had great keyboards. So you can see it has a 180 degree display, flex. Here's the keyboard. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's, it's not super loud normally. Um, so in terms of specs, this thing starts with the base configuration of an i5 8250U. The U processors are a little bit lighter weight. They're designed for ultrabooks, hence the U. And it scales um, well up to an i7 8650 V Pro. The V Pros are clocked higher. Um, and generally Lenovo does a really good job of cooling them, although I haven't had my hands on a V Pro in a long time from Lenovo. 14 inch display, 1080p, I believe that is the max spec you're going to get. In terms of hard drive speed, uh, or sorry, hard drive size, starts at 128 gigs for a SATA 3 M.2, and it will climb up. You can get an Opal 2.0 device, and I've written about these in the past. This is again for that mil spec, military specification, high durability that Lenovo emphasizes in the ThinkPad line. So these generally, because of that, these are generally reserved for people that work in high pressure areas, high altitude areas, places where there could be some you know, water spillage, not submersion, but a little bit of sprinkling um, and you know, a little bit of weather, inclement weather, and if you're gonna drop it. So it's gonna withstand a little more of the drop. And because of the matte exterior, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna damage quite like an aluminum body a SUS would or a Razer product would. Um, so really like these devices. They tend to have great I.O. Um, they come with just about everything you need. This one in particular, you get um, USB-C power charging. It ha does have Ethernet, USB 3.1, HDMI, and a headphone jack, and a SD card reader on one side. And on the other is another SD, or I'm sorry, USB slot. And then there's this um, docking port on the side. Uh, there's also a fingerprint reader, which is really great. A lot of the consumer laptops are starting to put fingerprint readers in there, but even some, like you could probably hear the fan from my uh, Razer Blade 15, brand new laptop from Razer Blade. It, it was $2,600 and does not have any type of biometrics on it, which is just nuts. So um, you gotta tip your hat to Lenovo in that case. Because even the entry level spec, which I think is what this one is, starts at 1180. So it's really inexpensive. And that's after Lenovo takes about 150 bucks off. They tend to do a lot in terms of sales on their website. It does climb up to over $2,000 if you spec it with enough RAM and pro version of Windows and all that kind of stuff. Um, well, anyway, hope this was helpful. Uh, I probably won't do a written review on this, but if I do, I'll make sure to link it here. Thanks.